the Kingsley Arms in Maidstone has stopped pouring the pints and the Anchor and Hope shut its doors in 2010. So what's happening to the pub industry? In Tunbridge Wells, one in five pubs has closed in the last decade, while a quarter has shut in Tunbridge and Malling. And in Maidstone, there are now around 100 pubs and bars, an estimated 20 fewer than a decade ago. Your local pub is normally the heart of your community, but here in Maidstone, a fifth of pubs have disappeared in the last decade. I've come to the town to find out a little bit more about why these pubs are disappearing. And first of all, I'll go into the flower pot to find out how business has gone after Christmas, ahead of New Year's and January. Trading is extremely difficult. Um, you've got to diversify, you've got to do different things to keep your clients happy and interested and you've got to have something different going on, music events, quiz nights, food, uh, you, you've got to really push yourself, you can't just sit around and do nothing because people don't just come to the pub like they used to when they were, when there was habitual drinkers, um, people tend to drink more socially now. Yes, times have changed but the turnover of the pub industry has remained fairly strong in part to larger chains but pubs are now offering services such as food and accommodation. A lot of people like dining out and less so just for drinking. I mean, we're really lucky at the Checks and Lose that we've got, you know, a diverse range of people. We've got, you know, young people that are just starting off, uh, you know, coming out to pubs and everything, 18-year-olds all the way through to 80-year-olds, I guess. Uh, so we've got a really nice mix uh, down here in Lose, um, and like 40% of our trade is beer. So, yeah, it's, it's quite a nice place to come to. The campaign for Real Ale says communities suffer as small local pubs are lost and they've called for reform to business rates and cuts in beer duty to help tackle the loss of pubs. But the sad thing is, yeah, the pubs, they, they couldn't stay above the water, a lot of them. There was quite a lot, after all. It coincides with the fact that people are now drinking more at home because of supermarkets, and the cost of beer is about a third of what it is in a pub. It's the same with shops, isn't it? They're, everyone thrives in December, and then January it's quiet, and it will be this year. No doubt. You don't make a massive amount of money like you used to, but it's an enjoyable occupation and you've, you've got to like the pub industry to be in it. It seems Kent won't let the pub industry go extinct, but there's no stopping your local changing with the times in the next decade. Isabel Miller for KMTV.